Part 3 of making my dream wedding petticoat. Yes, it's purple. We left off with adding miles of ruffles to a skirt shape, except that all of the horsehair braid made it too lumpy, so I spent several more days ripping all of it out and replacing it with fishing line. Much better. I used a zigzag stitch to stitch one fold, then added the fishing line with the second fold for a double folded hem. No raw edges and it's nice and fluffy. I have a rolled hem foot, but... Ugh, see, this is why I never use this stupid foot. I surged the top edge to keep it from fraying, but just look at this mound. I gathered by setting my machine to its longest stitch length and cranking up the tension. It's the quick and dirty method of gathering, but I had so much gathering to do. I added them to the skirt using movie magic. Just kidding. But it looks way more fun this way. I still had a large gap left after finishing all of my fabric, so I needed to order more fabric. But you don't have to wait for that to arrive. You can go watch the whole tutorial right now on my YouTube channel.